Hello everyone. Isn't it too inconvenient if your hand shakes really badly? If you're simply trying to pick up a glass? What if you try to add some weight to it? You realize what I just did? Two very simple things. Supported my elbow and arm. Stabilize my posture, add some weight, and then I try to drink. It becomes way easier. And this is what we are going to discuss today. How to overcome any kind of problem of hand tremors. Hand tremors can be observed in a few neurological conditions like Parkinson's disease, cerebellar lesions, multiple sclerosis, but they are also common in some other conditions like hyperthyroidism, hypoglycemia, and even with as simple a thing, if you're stressed, you have a lot of anxiety, even that makes your hand shake. I've actually had a query like this, like medical students who have had difficulty, their hand shakes in trying to do dissections or even trying to perform very, very simple tasks. The anxiety had gone to that level, especially if somebody was observing them because they are nervous. Taking a rubber ball in your hand and trying to ski, squeeze it. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then release it. This helps in steadiness. You can take a half kg or so dumbbell. I have a half kg weight in my hand. And then trying to drop your wrist over the table and then try to make wrist movements with it. even in the opposite direction simple fisting with hold and unfisting during unfisting make sure that you open your hand completely if you try to touch your thumb to each finger moving from index middle ring and little finger and then back try to move very slowly initially just to make it better, try to practice it with both hands simultaneously. And then later on, you can make it fast. Even deep breathing exercises, though it must have been emphasized so many times that relax yourself, but deep breathing really helps. The trick is try to inhale more with your nose. And exhale with your mouth and try to take twice as long to exhale. That relaxes you more and helps in controlling your tremors. There is also evidence regarding if you try to tie some weight around your wrists while you're trying to do your daily chores, your hand becomes more stable and you will be able to do your daily tasks like bathing, cooking with much more ease. It cannot be emphasized enough that healthy meals which are spaced out at four to six hours and having a very, very healthy sleep always contributes to controlling your tremors because the more relaxed your body is, the more there is a chance that the shakiness you will be able to control. Any kind of weight bearing exercises, even if you try to place both your hands on the table and try to get up, or if you try to do push-ups, if you're able to, even simply taking some weight in your hand, doing biceps curls, these kind of activities also help to stabilize both your hand and even your feet. You know there is a body of research that talks about dancing to improve tremors and the body slowness and any kind of postural problems that people with Parkinson's can control. So if you try to do things with rhythm, any kind of movements, these movements could be as simple as moving to left and right or simply you are trying to lift one leg up and down just so that your posture improves initially and you don't have to care about balance much you can always start with sitting and then move on to standing and then as much movement in the range as possible even after you've had some kind of exertion or you are nervous in a situation you're anxious your muscles can get fatigued because of how tense you are feeling at the moment that can lead to shakiness or secondly you have been holding a particular position for too long doing very fine work 
writing for too long, you know your hand gets cramps whenever that happens. There is actually writer's cramp that can develop, especially in people who have had Parkinson's. They find it very difficult. It's like they cannot go on any further. It might not exactly be shakiness, but yes, their hand does not go on. Also, if you have had dehydration, you have been working for too long, did not have enough fluid intake in your body, that also can lead to shakiness. So please find out what is the real problem for which this shakiness has happened and then try to apply the specific techniques. These techniques work for any number of people. Always you can try to use some kind of supplements if they're directed by your neurologist, do take them. But if the cause is not really neurological, these techniques, if you follow them on a very regular basis, will be good enough to control your anxiety and nerves and also help people with neurological issues to control and handle their tremors well and make them independent in their self-care tasks. So let me know how informative this video was. Mention in the comments if you have any other video suggestions for me. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. It helps my channel to grow and I'll be here to give you more information. And so we'll meet again.